DreAllDay.com. What's going on, everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. Sweet motivation is called 95%. We in the percentages a lot these last couple weeks. And this motivation means something very simple. 95% of people in life do not believe they are worthy of achieving the super huge goals that you see out there. Now, we all talk about them. We all think about them. We all look at the pictures. We all might write it down. We might put it on our vision boards. 95% of people don't even believe that they are capable of achieving them, which means for you, the least amount of competition that there is in life is in that top 5%. The smallest amount of competition, the easiest goals to reach are the ones that are in that top 5% simply because there are not too many people you got to beat out to reach the goal. As a matter of fact, you'll find that they're much easier than you thought once you start going for super high, way out of the box, not no average nothing goals than going for the average medium goals that most people are going after. Let me give you an example. I heard in the book of uh, the four hour work week, there's an author by the name of Tim Ferriss. He talks about this. He says it is easier to raise $10 million in investment capital. If you go and ask people for money, it's easier to raise $10 million than it is to, than it is to raise 10,000. And you might be thinking, well, why is it easier to raise 10 million and 10,000? 10 million is more money. How is that easier? It's because there are a thousand people trying to get $10,000. If there's one investor out there who has money, a thousand people come to him and ask for $10,000. He got to sort through all thousand and try to figure out who's worthy of his 10,000 bucks, right? How many people you think come to him and ask for 10 million? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. It's easier for him to pick out of that group. So if you go out of a group, if you're in a group of a thousand people who are all asking for 10,000 bucks, there's a one in 1,000 chance that you'll be chosen. You get that? But if you go to the group and you're asking for $10 million, there's a one out of three chance that you'll be chosen. Your percentages have gone up by, I don't even know the number, a lot. There's <laughs> a 33% chance you'll be chosen when you're going for 10 million than if you're going for 10,000. Just because of the fact that most people go for the average goal. Here's another example. Tucker Max is an author. He said, you know, one of the reasons, because in his books, he writes about how he meets all these girls, all these attractive girls and has sex with all these women that he met at bars. In his first book, he talks about this. And he says, often young men come to him because he wrote about this on his website before his book came out. He said, often young men come to me and they ask me, you know, what do you say? What are your pickup lines? How is it that you get these girls? Can you give us the exact strategy for how you talk to the girl? What do you say? What kind of cologne you wear? What kind of shirts you got on? What angle you approach the girl from? What do you do if she has a friend with her? What do you say if she says this? How do you keep the conversation going? He said, listen, it has nothing to do with none of that. The reason why I'm able to get all these attractive women and sleep with them and make out with them and all these other things that he's doing, the reason I get them is very simple. Is because when I go to a bar, I look around and I see the I see the 10. You know how you rate women from one to 10? So I see the 10 in a bar and I go talk to the 10. And usually nobody's talking to the 10. Everybody's trying to talk to the sixes, the sevens, and the eights. So if I go talk to the 10, there's no competition. There's a pretty good chance I could get it. a 50% chance. Either she's interested in me or she's not. But listen, there's no other man competing for her attention. But the 6s, the 7s, and the 8s, guess what? Every other guy in there is trying to talk to them. And ladies, I asked this question to ladies a few weeks ago when I was on Periscope. I said, ladies, how many of you have ever been out and you see a guy, you see other women in there, because we know women rate other women. You see other women in there who aren't as attractive as you, and then you see a guy who actually might look good. You think he's okay, you're gonna wanna see how he talks, he might come over and talk to you, but he doesn't ever come talk to you. He goes talk to a girl who's less attractive than you are. And all the women said, resoundingly said, yes, that happens all the time. I said, why do you think that is? It's because people just don't have the confidence. People just don't have the confidence to go after big goals. What does that mean for this week's motivation, and what does it mean for you is a very simple concept. Look at the goals that most people have. Look at what most people are going after. Figuratively speaking, most people in life are going after $10,000. Most people in life are going after the sixes, the sevens, and the eights at the bar or at the club or at school, whatever you want to call it. Most people are going for those goals because that's, that's what most people do. So if you want to lower competition, you want to reach bigger goals, you want to reach bigger success, and you want to do it quicker and faster and easier, this is what you do. Go for the goals in the top 5%. So instead of asking, again, this is figuratively speaking, I think all you can figure that out. Instead of asking for $10,000, ask for $10 million. Instead of going to talk to that seven on this side of the bar, go talk to the 10 on that side of the bar. Instead of saying that you wanna, instead of saying that you wanna reach this goal that you know most people are gonna agree with and say, oh, that's a good goal, good luck, I think you can do that. Go for a goal that people say, what? 
are you are you serious like you really think you can do that who who told you that you can do that who have you ever heard of who's done that before when you start hearing those type of comments from people that's when you know you're doing a five percent goal and let me add this caveat for those of you who may not have thought of this before and you go out and actually do this let me put out a disclaimer once you start going after goals like this from the most people that you know again 95 percent of people it's probably closer to 99 percent 99.9 percent most people are going to say negative things about you most people are going to try to discourage you from going after that goal most people are going to tell you that it's unrealistic most people are going to tell you that something about you or your background or where you're from or your race or your family history is going to prevent you from reaching this goal that's what most people will tell you and it's not because they don't want you to reach the goal it's not because they're haters or they're trying to hold you down it's because they can't fathom that level of confidence they can't fathom that level of belief so when you start doing something that 95 percent of people would never do they can't understand it so they're going to criticize you they're going to be negative about it they're not going to be positive they're not going to try to support you or help you because they just can't fathom it so don't be mad at them don't get angry don't unfriend them on facebook just accept them for who they are and go right back to asking for that 10 million dollars and i guarantee you your chances of getting that 10 million your chances of bagging that 110 at the bar are way higher than you getting 10,000 and going after that six seven and eight why because it's just excuse me because it's just too much competition for it Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. This video, I'm sure you were entertained. Make sure to stay connected with me on all your favorite social networks. Twitter and Periscope at DreAllDay. Instagram, Dre Baldwin. Facebook slash Work On Your Game. You can bookmark my YouTube channel by subscribing, of course. And the website is Work On Your Game. That's dot M-E. Work On Your G-A dot M-E. And of course, my homepage is my website, DreAllDay.com. So you can know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it and how you might be able to be involved.